It is a time in the Earth's orbital path whereby it is summer solstice in the northern hemisphere and winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. This occurs on two different calendar days due to the time difference and where this is going to happen on the Earth. This is all down to the tilt, the inclination of the Earth on its axis as it rotates and then also revolves around the sun on the orbital path and this is where the sun is highest in the sky towards the north and that would make it the shortest day in the southern hemisphere and the longest day in the northern hemisphere all down to the tilt which causes the seasons. So at this exact point in the Earth's revolution, the orbital location, the point in which the axial tilt of the Earth at 23 and a half degrees is pointing towards the sun. So the northern hemisphere, we experience the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere where the sun is at the minimum, the lowest we experience the winter solstice. And this is based on latitude, which will control the amount or degree of seasonality that a location experiences. But right now, it is the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere and the winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. So we're going into the summer in the north and going into the winter in the south. So the official start of the summer season in the Northern Hemisphere and in the United States in particular on the East Coast, it is 10.42 p.m. On the West Coast, it is 7.42 p.m. because there's a three-hour difference in time zones between the East Coast of the Estates and the West Coast. And even though on the East Coast, it is going to be dark at nighttime, that is the time when the sun is in a certain position and the t axial tilt is pointing towards the sun. So on the west coast, you will see the sun because the sun will not have set yet. And that will be the official start of summer. 